Hello, I'm Patrick Wanus, Human Behaviour and Relationship Expert, PhD. Where are all the heroes? Where are all the heroes of Hollywood? Have you noticed the strong recurring theme of the movies of Hollywood? Heroes, superheroes, good conquering evil. And yet we don't see that in reality, do we? Where are all the heroes of Hollywood? Where is the last man standing in Hollywood? There's none, they've all fallen. Look at what happened with Harvey Weinstein. Quentin Tarantino tweets via Amber Tamblin, I'm shocked about the revelations that have come to light about my friend Harvey of 25 years. No, you're not shocked, you're lying. Because seven days later, Quentin Tarantino tells the truth and says, yes, I knew about these things, I knew about a couple of them, and I did nothing. Wait a moment, let's understand this. You, Quentin Tarantino, were happy enough, strong enough, bold enough, courageous enough to protest police brutality, and yet you did nothing, not one thing, to protect people that you knew were victims of Harvey Weinstein. Why not? Because you were too busy profiting off him and making movies with him. Because you were too busy collecting awards. Then we have Kevin Spacey. It's revealed that he made sexual advances to a then 14-year-old Anthony Rapp. Rosie O'Donnell comes out and tweets, Oh, just like Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, we knew all about you. We? Who's we? You mean you, Rosie O'Donnell, knew about Kevin Spacey. You're saying you knew about his alleged sexual behavior, bad behavior, sexual assault, but you did nothing. What were you so busy doing that you couldn't stand up and protect other innocent victims? Then we have Corey Feldman, who for decades has been saying that there's pedophilia in Hollywood. And in 2013 on The View, he says, there's a pedophile ring in Hollywood. But what's he doing about it? Nothing. He says, give me $10 million and I'll do something about it. I'll reveal all the names. Then Megan Kelly, then The Today Show, then Dr. Oz put pressure on him, reveal the names. Why won't you reveal the names? What does he do? He reveals two names. One of them is Marty Weiss. Marty Weiss in 2011 was arrested and charged for sexually assaulting a minor. So hold on, that was six years ago, but Corey Feldman, you did nothing for six years. You could have named this guy. Why didn't you? Then he names one other person. Then he says that he's called LAPD, but LAPD says they don't have an actual report from Corey Feldman. So we ask ourselves, why were none of these people doing one thing to protect other innocent victims? Because they were all more interested in themselves. They were interested in profiting off the actual machine of Hollywood, interested in collecting their little golden trophies and golden awards, and basically being hypocrites rather than trying to protect innocent people. Fortunately, it's all out now and no one can hide. We see that men in positions of power across the country, in politics, in WWE, in restaurants, in every industry, men in positions of power have been corrupted by that power and have taken advantage of either women or even other innocent men. And finally, it's coming to an end. It's coming to stop. What we do find disgusting, or at least I admit I find absolutely disgusting, intolerable and unacceptable, is the hypocrisy of all of these people in Hollywood who were happy to enable Harvey Weinstein and others just like him so that they could continue doing what they're doing. Be famous, produce movies, make money and profit off this disgusting behaviour. If you'd like to learn more about the effects of sexual assault, I've put out a list of 25 effects of molestation, sexual assault, abuse and rape on my website, patrickwanis.com.